Hi, today's topic is exercise paradox. I have just read about it, it's amazing. So Harvard anthropologist Herman Ponser, PhD, described the surprising and fascinating result of evolution. Humans burn about the same number of calories regardless of their activity level. And this is called the exercise paradox. But exercise also provides you with other advantages. Contrary to received wisdom, you tend to burn the same number of calories regardless of how physically active you are. Isn't that amazing? Yet you have evolved to burn considerably more calories than your primitive cousins do, that's for sure. Exercise generally fails to aid weight loss. This is something to remember. Obesity appears to be a disease of gluttony rather than sloth. You gain weight when the calories you eat exceed the calories you expand, you spend. You cannot overcome an over-consuming diet. Your life is essentially a game of turning energy into productivity and reproductivity, and every trait action in action you display demonstrate is tuned by natural selection to maximize evolutionary return on each calorie you spend. Exercise has tons of well-documented benefits, of course, from increased heart and immune system health to improved brain function to healthier age to healthier aging. But I think we shouldn't just think about exercise equals to burning more energy or burning more fat. In fact, metabolic adaptation to activity is one of the reasons exercise keeps you fit and well and diverting energy away from activities such as inflammation that have challenging consequences if they go too long. Exercise helps to enable massive expansion of our human brain. So that's one of the uses of exercise, that we have evolved to require physical activity for normal brain development. Exercise also causes the release of neurotropic molecules that promote neurogenesis in brain growth, and it is known to enhance your memory and starve off your age-related cognitive decline. So exercising your mess muscles, exercising does all these uh, amazing stuff, but it doesn't help you burn, burn more calories. Exercising your muscles release hundreds of signaling molecules into the body, and especially endurance exercises reduces your chronic inflammation, a serious risk factor for cardiovascular disease. It lowers your resting levels to steroid hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, which helps account to reduce the rate of productive cancers among adults who exercise regularly, and also exercise may blur your morning rise in cortisol, the stress hormone, and it is also known to reduce insulin insensitivity, the immediate mechanism behind type 2 diabetes, and helps to shuttle glucose into muscular uh, stores instead of fat. Regular exercise improves the effectiveness of your immune system to starve off infection, especially as you age. Even light activity, just a little activity of 20 minutes a day, such as standing instead of sitting or walk, walking 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day, causes the muscles to produce enzymes that help clear fat from circulation blood. Regular exercise increases glucogen storage in both of your muscle and brain and helps fuel neurons. The glucogen increases are more in the brain areas critical to learning. This is very important. Moderate exercise, therefore, enhances learning, cognition, and brain function and reduces aging. It also adds new energy generating mitochondria in muscle cells, so it re helps us regenerate the cells. It reduces depression, enhances libido, reduces body fat, increases strength, endurance, and improves sleep. Cognitively challenging exercise benefits your brain more than physical activity that makes fewer cognitive demands. Exercise, ideally, is as much as cognitive activity as a physical one. So physical exercise, which is also equals to cognitive exercise, 10 to 20 minutes a day, increases brain-derived neurotropic factor, which promotes both the growth and survival of neurons. Exercise induces prefrontal cortical neurogenesis, and it's also associated with enhances performance on memory-related tasks and sharper executive cognitive functions, which evolve aspects of planning, decision-making, thinking, and wisdom. There are many forms of effortful active action exercise, but there are especially five main exercises which have stood the test of time, and I will talk about those 
in my next video. If you like my videos, click on like and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next week.